<clears throat> Good morning, Aries, and welcome to my channel. This is the Oracle of Zoraya Utranaya, and today I'll be doing a reading for you for the week of June the 30th to July the 6th, 2024. I've already cut your decks, and I've shuffled them all eight times each, utilizing the numerology of the date June the 30th, 2024. That way we can dive right in. Okay, we are starting off the reading with some fire energy, which is really nice to see. You're building something, Aries. The Knight of Wands, he is the builder of the tarot. He has a lot of energy, so maybe you are starting something new this week. Um, a new project, a new aspect of your project, a new chapter of your project or a new endeavor, maybe you're starting a new hobby, maybe you're actually building something with your hands, um, or new, um, just something new that you are creating, that you are building. You could be at different uh, levels of this process. This is a general reading. So maybe you are just starting something, maybe you're in the middle of it, maybe you're um, in the midst of it, like in the depths of it. Okay, but this is something that you are building. And this is a start of a new energy here. Okay, so that's not normally what the Knight of Wands would be, but here we have this ring of fire and it is like a portal and you are, you are diving into some new energy. So maybe there's, you're being revived. Maybe there's new energy that you can put in to something that you are already working on. You're feeling you're getting a lot more impetuous energy. It's like you are reborn. You're getting revitalized. You're getting more, you're getting more, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Inspiration is like reborn here. Okay. Uh, this, this night he, uh, has a lot of passion. So maybe your passion is reignited again with respects to something that you either are starting or that's something that you are already working on. Okay. We'll see where this is going with some more cards. So we have some Knight of Swords, a Knight of Swords too. So two Knights now. So the Knight of Swords, this can be um, news coming in, more communication coming in, with respect to whatever this is that you are building. Maybe you are getting some job offers. Maybe you're getting some clients. If you've been doing some advertising, you're starting to get some leads here. Um, just communication. Maybe your website is getting more hits because the, the swords is all about, can be about technology. So definitely you you want to be upgrading any websites, any LinkedIn's, anything that you are um, advertising or showcasing, whatever it is that you are working on here. If it's your project, if it's your hobbies, if it's your business, maybe you have a YouTube channel, maybe uh, your business has Facebook and Instagram. Uh, so you wanna keep that upgraded because people are going to be noticing you and people are going to be communicating with you as well. We see here, there's some text there and um, she's riding on this quill and she's kind of painting the canvas of her own life here. So uh, you are in control uh, with respects to the communication that is coming in for you because, but by controlling the message that you're putting out regarding your brand, okay? Yeah, um, so the Knight of Swords as well, on the normal Rider Waite deck, uh, he is the only knight that is facing backwards. So you're being encouraged not to go backwards. You need to move, keep moving forwards, okay? Keep moving forwards. Uh, what's done in the past is in the past. And you're being encouraged as well to not really don't overly rush things. The Knight of Swords on the normal Rider Waite deck, his he's like he's really like rushing to uh, whatever it is that the battle, whatever it is that he is riding towards. And the horse that he's riding on is quite distraught. And he's like, 
can we slow down please a little bit so if there's any communication coming in for you as well that is contract that are that is contract related if it's legal documents if uh, there's uh, business agreements or business partnerships or contracts for employment if you're getting a promotion or a new job uh, just look at the fine print too okay don't rush into signing any like signing anything either um, make sure maybe you're going over it with a fine tooth comb or get someone else to look over it as well just to make sure that your best interests are being taken care of but we also have jupiter coming in which is really nice to see so jupiter this is the wheel of fortune the cogs are turning uh and things are moving forward and uh this is the end of so we have like like i had mentioned so when we put sorry my allergies above me when we put these two together this like so the 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 wheel of fortune is the number 10 okay and it's the end of a cycle so I feel like as we approach this end of the cycle, like I had mentioned, something else is being born here. So I think maybe in the beginning of the week, you're ending something, but then you're going into some new phase of your project, new phase of um, whatever this is that you are working on, that you're building, okay? Jupiter expands everything that it touches so you want to make sure that you're coming from a place of abundance you're coming from a place of gratitude and not from a place of lack because as much as it can expand positive things and bring bring be the bringer of luck okay and positive movement it can also expand feelings of lack if, so you want to be mindful of where your perspective is and uh, if you're feeling a little bit down acknowledge that you're feeling down and uh, don't bury it just to practice toxic positivity if you're feeling some way uh, respect it and 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 allow yourself to go through the process but you don't want to live there um, and allow it to affect your general uh, outlook on life moving forward you want to kind of nip it in the bud get to the bottom of why you're feeling this way so that you can move forward okay because like attracts like and I feel that your hard work is being noticed I'm noticing here she has like a heart in the middle of the cog and so whatever it is that you are working on, if it's in alignment with your values and your morals and you are pursuing something that means uh, that is dear to your heart, uh, Jupiter is going to be expanding this and the, it is going to allow you to move forward uh, in a very swift manner. Like I had mentioned, he's going really quickly. So you might be even getting a lot of these communications and a lot of attention coming in for you, maybe some clients reaching out, maybe some uh, more hits to your website or to your social media, um, or maybe even some calls, you're going to be get, seeing some swift movement, some swift forward movement here. With the Knight of Wands, we have the Emperor. Okay, so we're coming, I'm Aries as well. I have the sun, I have Mars and Mercury in Aries. So this is really nice to see. We are stepping into our true power and this is uh, with the Knight of Wands. So whatever it is we're building, we, this, this ring of fire, this portal of fire that we are riding through is leading us into uh, stepping into our authenticity, stepping into our true nature, stepping into our true power. We are becoming the emperor of our own life here, which is really nice to see. Stepping into um, self-reliance, self-sustainability, taking the lead and not falling into victim mentality. We are creating the life that we want and we are being bold, we are being assertive and we are 
pursuing things that are in our best interest and that are align with our true nature here. So this is very encouraging. The emperor it needs to be able to be strategic, but he also needs to be an opportunist and he needs to be ready to act at any moment. On a normal rider weight deck, this emperor, he's sitting on a, on, a, on a seat, on a throne that is made to look very uncomfortable because one should not become complacent and too comfortable in a position of power. Uh, so because things can change and people and situations uh, don't always have your best interest in mind because people are power hungry. So just be mindful of that. And he also wears his uh, armor underneath his cloak in order to be ready to go to battle at any moment. So opportunities might be coming up for you with the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords here. And uh, you need to be ready to act. So you need to be ready to pivot on a dime and you need to be ready to act if opportunities or situations change, but I feel that they, these are going to be positive situations, but be ready to, um, to pivot or to, uh, what's the one am I looking for? Respond to anything that, that shows up. With the Knight of Swords, we have justice. So karmic justice coming in for you. Um, if you have been, so I'm getting it with this, okay? So if there's any legal things that you are dealing with, uh, divorce or um, maybe with employment, a past employer or something legal, you might be getting um, some movement with respects to that, some sort of decision. And it could be in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune there. Um, so just make sure, like I had mentioned, that you are going over everything with your lawyer. If you're going over everything with um, a fine tooth comb before you sign anything, okay? Um, with the the justice card here as well, and like I had mentioned here with the heart, uh, really making itself apparent to me, whenever I see justice with the scales, I I think about the the Egyptian goddess and concept called Ma'at. Ma'at is a goddess that represents cosmic balance and order. And she, along with Thoth, weighs your heart. So we have here your heart against a feather after you die. And if your heart is lighter than a feather, it meant that you had lived a life of pure intention. And this is how the wheel of fortune will be moving in your favor or not is based on how your heart is weighing against this feather with Ma'at. If your heart is heavier than the feather, you're, you, get con you get consumed and eaten by uh, something in the afterlife, okay? You don't even get to enjoy any afterlife, you get destroyed. Okay, so that is in the Egyptian pantheon. So be mindful um, that you are living uh, with pure intention, that whatever project it is that you're working on doesn't, um, you're not taking advantage of people, you're not um, doing anything ma like malicious or anything like that. Uh, whatever it is that you're working on, if it is in alignment with your true essence, with your true power, and your true purpose, then things, then Jupiter will be expanding all of this and the, the wheels will be turning in your favor and your, uh, the cosmic justice that is coming in for you will be, will be good. It's like what you reap, you have, you will be sowing, right? Um, it's just like probability as well. If you're engaging in nefarious activities, the probability of things of you um, getting caught up in things that can affect you negatively are exponentially increased. Okay. Where am I here? Okay. 
things are going to be balancing out a little bit more too. So if you have been experiencing um, some, some imbalances with respects to some time, the time that you spend doing things, maybe you've been working a lot, maybe your money hasn't been where it should be, uh, things, Jupiter is going to help balance the scales out a little bit more as well. And then we have the star. What a nice way to end. We got a lot of um, major arcana cards here. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Emperor here, the Emperor. We have Justice and now we have the star. So very big changes. It's like if you get a lot of major arcanas in a reading and then we have the knight so this is forward moving momentum big changes coming in for you aries and for me which is nice to see so the wheels are turning in your favor with the wheel of fortune you're getting lots of attention here so make sure that your website is updated make, i gotta take this advice to myself <laughs> make sure your youtube is updated make sure your website your facebook your instagram uh, you're looking very um, positive, okay? People are seeing you as the leader here, okay? Uh, and a very prominent figure in the community, whatever it is that you're building here. It, it, I think it is, a, is needed in the community or whatever it is that you're thinking about building or you're contributing something to some sort of community because the star is um, representation of Aquarius. Aquarius is about the people and about grassroots endeavors, okay? So finally, some forward moving momentum, you're getting attention and perhaps even some more clients, some more customers, some more hits, some more leads. Um, people are noticing what you're doing and they're, they're lauding you for your, your hard work. Uh, do take care of yourself. Make sure to tr to um, try to balance out your life as well uh, with self care. The star can be a card of nourishing uh, yourself, making sure that you are you cannot give from an empty cup. So make sure that you are definitely taking care of yourself and doing taking the rest when you need it. Okay, we're going to end up with the spirit animal oracle card, and we have the sea otter. And the sea otter is all about happiness be the master of playful living release expectations and enjoy every day let worry go and instead choose love surrender to the waves your good destiny of love is sure inner joy playful love agility capricious sharing good luck family, tribe, faithfulness, caring, and spontaneous. If otter is your personal symbol, you are called to the spontaneous art of playful living. Otter people swim in the iconic watery world of their intuition and feelings. Their naturally evolved female protective self might ask them to care for others, especially the young. Otter people are inclusive and welcome the company of family, tribe, and community. Otter people know how to go with the flow and master celebrating life with simple things. They are loyal, kind, true. Otters are fantastic friends and lovers. They hold on to one another so they don't drift apart. Otter people are usually are not usually confrontational, but rather survive by swiftly swimming away from danger. If otter is your totem, you will have a natural curiosity and love looking at life from all angles. You are loving toward yourself and others. Your inner child needs room to frolic and play, and if you let it out, you will be sure to enjoy life and not simply endure it. So there's the balancing out, right? Let otter lead you to all that is good in the world, happiness, abundance, friends, and love. Some things to keep in mind are, are you fighting life's currents? Try going with the flow. Are you spending too much time alone? Connect with your tribe. So here's the balance coming out, right? Don't forget happiness can be found by simply holding hands. And don't forget to reach out when you are lonely. 
Aries, if this reading resonated for you, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if that is something that you'd like to do. You can also hit that bell notification to let you know when I release new videos. And if you want a more holistic approach as to what is going on with your week, not only check out your sun sign, but also your moon, your rising, and your Venus. I am truly grateful for all the energy you brought me here today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week.